I think that she's very curious and inquisitive by nature. Um, and she's also very intuitive because I think, you know, growing up in the abusive household that she did, you kind of have to learn how to read people and read their moods and, you know, how to act around them so that they don't end up hurting you more than they already have. Um, and I think she's also grown up to be incredibly strong-willed, a lot like her mother. She's seen how um, resilient she's been and just, um, I think learned all of the best parts of her mother. I think there's definitely kind of a pyramid of respect. The, the eldest of the women, Agatha and Greta, have the most respect in the group and what they say is always listened to. Um, and it kind of moves down. You always respect your elders, but there's definitely no like fear, in, especially in the hayloft, um, as there would be with men who are um, older in the colony. So. I think that there's kind of a beautiful sort of um, just love and respect relationship between all of the characters and it really makes the discussion a lot um, easier to have. It felt so, so collaborative, which I don't think is very normal for a, a, a film set, even between like the director and the actors, like it was, there was discussions all the time about things and like I would, I would talk to Jesse a lot because our characters were so closely intertwined and I'd just be like, I, I am a little confused about how to come into this and we would just talk and discuss our characters and the connections between and, and it was so, so collaborative and all of the um, older actors were willing to give advice and just teach us and help us whenever we were confused. So it was, it was a really, really good and positive learning experience. The detail that was put into every single set that I went on to was just incredible. And it, it really, really felt like you were going somewhere that didn't have technology. And it was, um, it was so, it made it so much easier to do our job, I think. Um, you could tell that he put a lot of work and thought and research into, into it. And you could tell that he was loving what he was doing, I think. Luke is an amazing person. I love just talking to him. He's he he gets so excited about all of the technology and and all the shots and everything and you can just tell that he again is putting so much love into this project and that he really um, works really well with Sarah. Like they're just very on the same page about pretty much everything. Um, and it was so neat to watch him like discuss things with Sarah and how they were gonna do things. And whenever we would have sort of a complicated camera movement or something, he would always be like explaining it to us and making sure that we were in the correct spots so that we were safe. And it was just, it was, it was really, really nice to have someone explain all that to you. I think Sarah's directing style is incredibly collaborative and um, generous. She would always be asking us if we were feeling like okay with what we were doing and um, if we wanted to go again, she would be kind of up for, for anything to make sure that we were really happy with what we were doing. And she was very, very patient, especially I think with all of the younger actors. Coming from the background that she does, I think she knows exactly what it's like to be on set. So um, she just was so, so understanding with everybody and what they needed and just wanted to make sure that it was a positive experience for everybody, which was really, really appreciated. The day that uh, Rooney brought, um, I think it was a fart machine on set, the day that we had to do all the laughing, and it was it was the most hilarious thing ever. And there were a lot of moments like that whenever any of us had to laugh, all the other actors would be kind of doing things behind the camera to help us keep going. And it was just a really, really fun experience those days, especially when you don't really have a lot of that, because most of the time we're, it, it was just really hard stuff, and so the days where we got to laugh were really, really fun. It was so, so incredible, and I don't think I'll ever feel something like that again because, you know, as it's, it's a first project, and it's the first time that you get to see yourself up on screen with people watching you and, and clapping for you and your castmates, and it was just so insane and weird. 
and um, very um, enjoyable. I think the connections that everybody got to have with each other, the moments in the green, green room where we would just sit around talking in between takes and the discussions that we would have in the hayloft off camera and just all of the fun that we would get to have and all the jokes that kind of got started and um, the love that I think we all kind of developed for each other was really, really amazing and I think are things that I will treasure and remember forever.